Hey everybody, it's Muffin here. Um, and today I'm going to be discussing the anatomy and the flow of blood in the heart. So let's get started. So right here I have my trusty anatomy of the heart poster that I've been making. Um, for this video. So first I guess I'll be discussing basically the anatomy with the flow of heart in order. So first the um. The, I'm going to start by um, the areas of where the um, blood enters the heart. Um, first, the unoxygenated blood comes through these two um, vessels right here, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, into the right atrium. And through from there, it goes through the tricuspid valve right here, which has three leaflets, three, and um, into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts, and then the blood gets forced through the pulmonary um, a pulmonary valve, through the pulmonary artery, which it goes to the lungs. Um, then once we breathe, blood becomes oxygenated and comes through these pulmonary veins, the right pulmonary veins, and the left pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Then it goes through the mitral valve, which has two leaflets. Oh, and I forgot the pulmonary has three leaflets, but... Back to the mitral valve, it has two leaflets. Comes through there into the left ventricle. From there on, it get, the ventricles contract through the aortic valve. And from there, it goes out the aorta. Um, and these three branches right here, um, it goes out to the head and arms. This one is the brachiocephalic. This is the left common um, carotid artery. And this is the left subcalvin artery. Down the aorta to the descendant aorta, where it brings oxygenated blood throughout the body and um, just some other main parts um, that's how the blood of throat flow through the anatomy but some other main parts we have the um, ventricular um, septum or I just say septum so I don't have to go into the atrium um, you have the papillary muscle right here in the ventricles and around the entire heart you have a um, very um, thin sac called the pericardium and I'm um, going to kind of get into some veins here, the coronary veins. I'm not really fantastic with these. But here we have the left coronary veins and the right coronary veins. The coronary veins basically take blood um, around the heart um, so to the actual muscle. So the heart, to get the heart the actual muscle supplies. Because when it comes through this pump system right here, the heart isn't getting the actual blood the muscle needs. So that's what those coronary arteries do. And... Um, once the oxygen is um, gone from the um, blood, then they um, come out through these veins right here. I forgot the name of them. I'm sorry. Um, I know, right? But um, they come from behind the heart into um, the um, coronary sinus, which gets um, flushed back into the right atrium to restart the process of um, the pump. So... Yep, that is the anatomy and the flow of blood in the heart.